Saturday was gorgeous. Remember? Bright sun after all these days of rain. Dory and I decided to take a walk, actually a hike. We went to some dense woods uh, near our house. We, we wanted to find uh, Two Brothers Rock in the Concord River. We started down a path and everything was going great. And then we ran into uh, a little mud lake and decided to take a, a different path. And then we got to another place and we took another path and then a, another path. And about an hour and a half in, I began to realize that we were pretty lost. Of course, I wasn't gonna tell Dory that I was anxious about this because, hey, I'm a Boy Scout. I'm gonna take care of her. I have my camping merit badge. But she began to talk about being a little tired and we kind of wondered where we were. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere came this sign. A sign that pointed us to something that was familiar, a road that we knew. And we knew that that road would lead us home. What a relief it was to know that somebody had been there before us and knew the way. And that's what I want to remind us of this morning. The simple but profound reality that God has been here before us. God is with us right now. He is near. There's these four little words in Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. The Lord is near. Just as the sight of that sign uh, gave us comfort, uh, so the Lord gives us comfort now to remind us that he is near, that he is with us. He will lead us out of whatever lost place that we find ourselves. He's been here before and he's marked out our way. Are you feeling lost right now? Maybe lost at home? Philippians 4, 6 and 7, the verses that follow are familiar to many of us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The antidote to anxiety is reminding ourselves that God is near. When he's near, we have no need to worry or fret. He's been here before and he knows the way out. You remember the disciples after the crucifixion? They were anxious. They had no idea what to do next. Here they are locked away in a room and Jesus shows up. Jesus becomes near. He says, do not be afraid. He probably didn't even need to say that because his very presence gave them assurance that he would show them the way out. Now you might be feeling lost right now. Uh, lost about how to survive this COVID, which seems so endless. Lost about how you'll pay your bills. Lost about how you'll continue to homeschool your stir-crazy kids. Maybe lost about your retirement that you were dreaming of. It's natural to feel lost right now. And so I remind us that even though we go up and down and we feel... Um, lost. He is near. Um, it seems to me that almost every other day I feel a bit lost, and yet I'm reminding myself that he is with me. So let's remind ourselves today that he is near. When we feel his presence and when we don't feel his presence, the reality is that the God who created us, who knows us best, stays with us during all times. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you that you are near, nearer to us than our breath. I pray for each of us this day that whether we are feeling 
your closeness or not, that you would remind us of the reality of your presence, that you are the signpost that will show us the way, will continue to show us as a church how to be your church, how to be these living stones that are a beautiful home for you and your presence. To those in our neighborhoods uh, and those around our world, we give you ourselves. Remind us today that you are near. In Jesus' strong name, amen. Okay, everyone, have a great day today.